Good morning. We're starting out with some clouds and temperatures cold this morning. It is 23 degrees in Springfield with some light southerly winds and mostly cloudy skies. It's mostly cloudy but dry out there this morning, so don't expect any road hazards unlike the last couple of days, right? 17 degrees right now at Lake of the Ozarks, 23 in Springfield and in Monette, 25 in Branson and 25 degrees in Ava. Winds are fairly calm, starting to shift to the south at about 5 miles per hour. It's 17 for that real feel in Springfield. Field and 15 in Camden and 13 up in Rolla. So, again, a pretty cold start where we've got temperatures in the 20s and wind chills in the teens. Make sure you bundle up with some hats, gloves, mittens, and scarves out there this morning. By dismissal, 41 degrees today, mostly cloudy. We'll have some light rain snow coming in probably after dismissal, maybe in time for the evening commute. Temperatures, again, pretty chilly today in the 30s and 40s. Here's some of that light rain snow, mainly uh, for our eastern counties here. It should be pretty spotty and light. So no road impacts and it exits quick by 11 o'clock tonight. We are dry. Uh, we're looking at temperatures in the 20s again tonight and then by tomorrow, sunshine with temperatures in the middle 40s. So Saturday is the better half of the weekend. Sunshine and uh, temperatures about average. Warmer on Sunday, but that comes with some widespread rain. We'll have some showers around on Sunday. Temperatures stay uh, pretty at or a little bit above average through the next seven days. We're in the 40s early next week. We'll have another rain chance roll through by late Tuesday into Wednesday. Uh, this is the next thing that we're watching here. But again, uh, just some light rain snow late today with temperatures still a little bit chilly. Joe, Lauren. All right, family fun on tap this weekend. We're talking about the Cardin International Circus Spectacular. It's in town, starts tonight at JQH Arena. We have our own Nigel McDonald there right now for a preview. And Nigel, we understand you have met someone very special, perhaps the most special person to the circus, you could say. Yes, so I was actually had the opportunity to meet with Ringmaster Bardo to learn a few of the circus secrets, but I won't be able to tell you guys those today. You just have to come out to the show tonight at 6:30 and check it out. Now, as Bardo mentioned, there is something for the entire family to enjoy. Now, that includes elephant rides, horse rides, face paintings, they have motorcycles that will be driven in the air, so there is something for everyone. There's also a pre-show kickoff that will start one hour before the 6.30 start time. That's a great time for the entire family to come out and just enjoy what the circus has to offer. Now, I learned that this circus has been going on for over 50 years bringing it across people to people across the country. So I am excited tonight to see tonight what the circus has to offer. And if you're looking for something to do that is family friendly, I would recommend that you head on down to JQH tonight at 6:30. Now I haven't figured out what my act will be just yet, but I think I have some ideas in mind. And of course, our billy goats and our other animals will be here for you as well. Lauren, Joe, all right, Nigel, we also have some other details and a breakdown on the performances this weekend. The event kicks off, like you said, at 6.30, followed by two shows, each on Saturday and Sunday. Admission is $18 to get in the door, a little more for reserve seats, and $10 for parking. Tonight only, though, there is an opening night special, general admission tickets for just 7 bucks. Sears will be closing its store in the Battlefield Mall in just two months. It's a store that first opened in the late 20s here in town. John Sellers with the History Museum says in the 1950s, they built a new store next to the Shrine Mosque. That space is now known as the Springfield Expo Center. When the Battlefield Mall opened in 1970, Sears moved in and has been there ever since. When you think about Sears, you have to think about uh, their cutting edge approach to retailing. They had a brick and mortar store, but they were also huge in catalog sales. And the Sears Roebuck catalog was, was, a, was a game changer. They are uh, the victim of the next shift in retailing, which they were the cause of the last one. The Battlefield Mall did not respond to, for comment on the closing or the future of what will happen in that big space. However, Sears Holdings sent us a statement about the decision saying, quote, After careful review, we have made the difficult but necessary choice to close the Sears store in Springfield, Missouri. The liquidation sale begins this week, and the store is planned to close in mid-April. Also happening in your medical coverage this morning. 
New precautions are in place to fight the flu in Greene County. The health department is asking people with minor respiratory symptoms to manage their illnesses at home rather than visiting a clinic. Symptoms like that would include cough, runny nose, and fever. Also, Cox and Mercy are asking people with those symptoms not to visit patients in the hospital. If you are sick and go to a hospital, you're asked to use masks as well as hand sanitizer at entrances. And in some more local news for you, casinos being built near Lake of the Ozarks are one step closer to becoming a reality after the proposal was approved by a Missouri House panel. This is the first step in allowing the proposal to be placed on a statewide ballot. State Rep. Rocky Miller is proposing the Missouri, that Missouri voters should decide whether or not casinos are allowed on the Osage River. Now, this would require a constitution change because current law only allows riverboat gambling on the Missouri and Mississippi rivers. Plus, Plus, the current law only allows the licensing of 13 casinos, which have all been claimed. Homelessness is an issue in most cities across America, and it's no different here in the Ozarks. That's why tonight the Christian County Homeless Alliance is having its annual fundraiser to help provide emergency shelter for those in need. The event is from 6 to 8 at the Redeemer Lutheran Church in Nixa. It features a soup dinner, silent auction, and opportunities to learn about area service providers. Nixa High School students will also sell handmade bowls with proceeds going to the Homeless Alliance. Missouri Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft announced Springfield Green County Library has been awarded a summer library program grant of $10,000. The grant will provide a summer reading to go program. The state library has approved a total of 80 grant applications for this year, totaling more than 521,000 in federal awards that the secretary's office has distributed to libraries throughout Missouri. Now, look, I hated doing summer reading lists, but now as an adult, I'm very grateful for them, guys. I love that I got my reading on. Made you smarter. I hope so. I don't know if I'm that bright all around, but <laughs> what I have, I got from the summer reading. So good for the library grant program, right? We want to tell you a few things, too, that are trending as you wake up this morning. Go red for Women Day. You guys were prepared and wore red. I was not. So I found, I found some stuff on uh, Frances Lynn, who's a reporter, on her desk. So shout out, Frances. But it's, Stylish. it's for very hard. Look at these. Can, can we zoom in here? Look at these, uh, look at these glasses. And this, this is fantastic, honestly, right? Honestly, like, this was just laying around in the newsroom. <laughs> How does it's this nice. happen? Yes. Uh, so. In anticipation of Valentine's Day, right? Or it's maybe it's from the American Heart Association. It really, yeah. it might be. I like uh, which it. Very is nice. what today is supporting because heart <laughs> disease, as many of you probably know, is the number one um, cause of death for women and men. Yes. So very important, uh, very important cause there for everything. What else we have trending going on? Do you have anything? Yeah, we do have one more trend. Um, a lot of fear surrounding the coronavirus. And um, one thing that has not been as widely addressed is there are some cruise ships from um, Japan and Asia that have been quarantined with people on board, um, some of them with the right. coronavirus. I saw an interview, too, um, yesterday. Uh, there is a reporter, a network reporter, who's on one of the cruise ships and gives some insight as to what it's like. And he's in a room all by himself and shows that he, a menu is slid under his door for him to choose meals. And he has to slide it back under the door. They'll drop meals off and then leave. But there's no human-to-human -human contact. It, it's really it's kind of scary. Those uh, cruise ships also, the room's a bit small. You know, uh, you're yeah. quarantined. And those ships are just stuck out there. One of them, docked in Japan, has 61 confirmed cases of the coronavirus. Really? That includes nine Americans. Wow. The other ship that's under quarantine is in Hong Kong. And CBS this morning saying that, huh? CBS this morning will have that okay. report. Uh, between the two ships together, there's more than 7,000 people on board. Okay, oh, wow. so something that we really got to watch out for. And, uh, of course, we had the tough news about the doctor who warned people about that died from it. So a lot to look out for with that. CBS this morning has that coming up. We also have... A bitter cold start to our morning today, right? Yeah, we've got wind chills in the teens this morning. We'll have temperatures a little bit warmer than yesterday, 41 by dismissal, mostly cloudy. Some light rain snow showers late this evening, probably just after or during or after your evening commute, and they exit by midnight. No impacts there. They'll be pretty light and spotty. The better half of the weekend is Saturday, some warmer sunshine there. Some showers will be likely on Sunday. Rain pretty widespread. Was it? Last Sunday, that it was 75. I know. <laughs> I miss <laughs> it. The so close, guys. I it was it. not that long ago. How about this to make you feel better? A beautiful sunrise, Looks at least. very nice. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching here on Daybreak, everyone. Please have a great weekend.